Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, man, we are back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go to press that like button for your boy. Go to press the subscribe button if you are new to my channel. Then also turn the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And also, let's try to aim for 10 likes at least on this video. Now, if y'all want to give me more likes, hey, man, I don't got no problem with that. But let's at least try to aim for 10 likes. Now, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, I will be trying to make my 2K23 Demi-God build. Now, the build I'm using right now is 2K22. I don't know how the 2K23 build will be, but these are the things. This is the hype in the Imperial system if you want to see it. You know, I like for all my players to be 6'6". That's what I like. Cause you know I like height over anything if I'm trying to run point guard. But you know every year 2K tries to make it more and more impossible for you to try to play your style of play every year. Even though this build system is you know you can make anything on this game. But it's still some restrictions that I have on this builder that you don't have on current gen. But me, I like next gen, so I'm gonna keep playing next gen. I'm gonna continue to, you know, play my play style with the builder that they give me. I don't care what the builder is gonna be in 2K23. You know, it really doesn't matter because I'm gonna still try to make my same play style. You know me, I like to finish a little bit. Now on my other build, it had contact dunks on it. I like the contact dunks, but I realize now I don't need contact dunks. It's not a make or break build for me, but you know, I gotta have the shooting run. I gotta have the mid range, you know. I didn't put my mid range that high on this build because I don't even really shoot mid ranges. Like if you think about it, how many, in the, how many people in the park actually shoot mid ranges? It's rare. You barely see people just pulling up shooting mid ranges unless they got on difficult shots. That's the only time they really shoot in mid ranges. And me, I don't even play that type of style no more because I don't like the way I don't even like really want to try to learn how to fade again. I could try, but I don't even really want to do that. Maybe next year, but I'm not doing that this year. You know, the playmaking got to be lit. I got to have at least gold bullet pass on my player. I really want Hall of Fame on my player. Now, you see, I'm sacrificing my some of my finishing to really get the Hall of Fame pickpocket. Hopefully, pickpocket actually works this year or next year. It used to work in 2K22 Nation before they patched it. They patched it because before, if I'm telling you, if you look at gameplay when 2K22 Nation first came out, 5-7 guards were not the wave because you weren't going anywhere. The ball was not getting put on the floor at all. You put the ball on the floor, it was a clear steal. I got a whole screenshot on my Twitter. If you look through my media, when the game first came out, I had 10 steals on my two-way playmaker with Hall of Fame pickpocket. That's because the badge used to actually work. Hopefully, they make defense good again in 2K23. That's all I really hope. I hope defense is good. Every year, people are going to try to find a way to score. I'm telling you. Everybody can score, but everybody can't play defense. If everybody could play defense, everybody would be at least decent. Everybody not even decent at 2K, and they need to take out Sniper too. I hope they take out Sniper. Now, as y'all can see, I those were the badge count I gave my build. Now, me, y'all know my play style. I like to break angles, and I'm, I like to play defense, so I put lockdown on my take. Now, y'all know the title they gave me. They gave me the basic title. They give every build on this game, which is a two-way three-point playmaker. I hope they come out with some new build names, too. Like, they really need that. Just something unique. Like, you can have a different build. You know, everybody won't be the same title, so everybody don't play the same way. Every build is not the same. It's unique. If we all had the same build, I mean, there wouldn't be no diversity. But, I mean, some people do, some people don't. It all depends on you. Now, these are the badges I would give my player, but I'm not sure about the badges or what the count might be, what it might look like next year. But, you know, this is around the estimate. I'll give my player for his shooting. Hopefully, I can raise my three-pointer, you know, just a little bit. My three-pointer might be a little lower next year, depending on how 2K is. Y'all know how. Y'all know it always depends, but it don't even really matter to me because, like I said, man, I'm going to do what I do. Hopefully, you know, I can get gold ankle breaking next year to really bring y'all some crazy ankle breaking clips. Like, I'm telling you, like, some crazy ankle breaking clips. 
without me having to be short. I want to be my height and still break ankles like just as usual. Like I don't understand that. And hopefully pickpocket work because the defense on this game is okay. It's not that great. It's okay. But you see, these are some of the badges I would give my player. Hopefully I won't have to use ankle braces to get, like hopefully I won't have to use that bad so I won't get stunned, you know, off of a tight handles move. But yeah, man, that's really all I got for y'all in this video. You know, those will be the bad count for my upcoming 2K23 build, supposedly. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'm out.